active, and that's the problem with the city's program. They wait for someone to call and say, oh, there's some graffiti at the corner of Fairfax and Pico. Come paint the graffiti down. They should have somebody calling them. They should already be there. There used to be thousands of pieces of graffiti down here. Everything down here used to be hit up. And now it's basically spotless. They'll let these signs get tagged up all over the city. So this is a crip gang. Let's say they're doing a project down in another part of the city where there's no crips. They're all bloods. The bloods know who this is. So now the bloods will think, hey, they came into my area and wrote on my stuff. They'll now come over to our neighborhood and they'll start shooting people up. Those people have a better chance to stay alive without that gang graffiti taunting them every time. The city refuses to clean those signs, refuses. Yet they have the budget to do it. You know what, I mean, I mean, I even have to rub this stuff. It'll just melt right off. The city used to hand out stuff that was carcinogenic. The stuff got on my hands and started peeling the skin off my hand. How long were we here? Two minutes? I, I just don't understand why this stuff doesn't get done. They would rather leave that stuff up there or use chemicals that are bad for people or eat up the equipment and buy a new piece of equipment because you know why they got a budget. They gotta buy so many tractors in a year. Why don't we just maintain the old equipment? That's what happened with Joe Conley in the city of Los Angeles. Joe figured it out. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. But see, then as soon as you turn around from this artwork, look at this pile of crap over here on the side. There's like 14 pieces of graffiti. They etch up the sign, they got all this stuff here, they got this thing here, they got a little bitch tag up there. This is what pisses people off. Why do a piece of artwork and then vandalize something? I, I, I don't get it. What's, I, I don't get it. This wall hasn't been patrolled for a long time, and when you don't patrol your walls, these toys just start fucking around and painting over it. And... You run out of this kind of paint, but you're way in the middle of nowhere, you know? So what we do when we run out, there's a little bit left, is you piss inside to make a little bit more. You leave a little bit of yourself in every wall. I want you to put sticks under the, those uh, posters and have characters holding it, you know? It'll incorporate to the wall. That's some clever shit. Don't do drugs. It's a T-E-E-K-A-E-O-H. And it's T-K-O. It never looks like this. It's just, you know, a little sketch. And then he's going to do like a little cartoon character in a boxing ring. Kids like that type of stuff. And the people like it. They, they, they appreciate that type of stuff. And they leave the wall up longer, you know? I was two years old. And um, my brother and my cousin were listening, hearing the ice cream truck pass by. And they were like, go get us some ice cream. You know, me like a dumbass goes across the street, grabs the ice cream. Comes walking, as soon as I get a little taste of ice cream, a big truck comes. Bam! And since then, I was just always interested in colors and, and, and art, you know? He started drying in the table, in, in the wall, in the bathroom. He was in the bathroom, and he was writing. And I get mad at him. I told him, you going to clean it up? What year was that? I don't think when you was eight or nine years. That would have been 1980. See, I'm old school, man. <sighs> Backyard, I have one picture that I told him to do it. And he did it, and I like it. That's the kind of art that I like. But to go over there and outside and do the graffiti, I don't like it. And, and one day he showed me that he painting right here, one a big heart, and he said, are you proud of me? And I was looking at that and I said, well, no. Do something right. Go to school and start learning. Me and my friends used to kick it on my, on my porch and kind of hang out. Before we went writing graffiti, and just kind of hang out and, you know, talk about Nintendo because we couldn't afford it, you know? <laughs> And uh, she would be like, hey, go to the park. And I'm like, no, I don't want to go to the park. Because yeah, the park is gang infested, you know? Go to the park. We would go to the park, get jumped. I used to have Prisma colors. So I would put alcohol inside the Prisma colors so it could just be a little bit more paint. And I was in my dad's restroom filling it up. He comes in thinking I'm sniffing it. You're sniffing paint and all this. I'm like, <laughs> he fucked me up. When I'm painting the graffiti, I feel good, man. 
I, all the stress is gone, all the drama is gone. I'm just, it's me, the wall, the paint. I might get sunburned, some might be 100 degrees, I might be thirsty or hungry, but I don't leave the wall until it's done, you know? I should have added more green, more green stars. Next time. Hopefully tomorrow we could uh, get something bigger cracking. It's gonna say Sabre. But it's gonna take me a minute to get to that point. Looks a little messy now, but by the end of the day, it's gonna look real nice. S-A-B-E-R. You know, I mean, there's a lot of math going on. There's a lot of visual math going on. And people don't realize how much math really goes on to do a piece. It's like with our pieces, we like to break them down to as if they're actually in fighting stance. The R leg is cocked a certain way and has parts coming out that'll get you. Or when I have certain center points to a piece, I'll guard them with little, like, spike connector laser things or whatever you want to call them. I remember even being young before Sabre was super big, uh, people kind of being attracted to his stuff because he was young and he was doing really technical pieces and he was very productive and uh you know he hit good spots he wasn't that guy just walking down the street just tagging on everything he was the person that would take the spot and make the most of it saber's known for just going all out he's known for doing things that like people talk about doing but nobody ever really has the the ambition or the drive to, to really try to to go out and, and produce and accomplish As far as the West Coast is concerned, he's produced like probably, you know, four or five of the like 10 most monumental pieces and works of graffiti. Things like the bridge on the five with GK, you know, that MSK billboard right there by the Capitol Records building in Hollywood. You know, those things are just like colossal. So it took me and Zess about three nights and uh, it's actually about three stories tall. And the funny thing was when I finished it, I get a phone call from GK early as hell. Your S looks like shit. You need to go back up there and fix it. And I was like, ah. So I went back in the day and fixed the S. And then I figured out finally it's done. Everything in my life always revolved around doing graffiti as far as I put that in front of my family, in front of myself. You know, I put my parents through hell for this. There were points that became very low, yes. In fact, it was very disruptive to the family, uh, to my husband and I as, as a couple, but also as a, uh, financially, it was hard on us. Um, we both had jobs that we had to maintain, and it's kind of scary when you pull up from work and you see a, a police car outside your door, and you're not sure if it's just because he's in trouble or they're telling you something worse than that because I've known his friends have been killed, um, have been shot, stabbed. Um, I've known that he's been beaten up so bad one time that I thought I was going to lose him with his eye. Uh, he wasn't going to have an eye, and he had brain damage where he had to go back through training, uh, educational training. And then years later, I found out it was his own friends that beat him up to jump him into this sort of quasi-gang thing. And I have uh, brain hemorrhaging and uh, short-term memory loss. I was in the hospital for, for two weeks. His knees are blown out, his shoulders are blown out, and can't be repaired. Things like that that, to me, have nothing to do with